Hi, it's Michelle Tam of Nom Nom Paleo, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make one of the most popular recipes on my site, Whole30 Sriracha. So if you are on Whole30 or on a strict paleo reset, you're probably like, all my food is bland, but it's not if you make Whole30 Sriracha. It might sound silly, but it's really, really important to use gloves, especially when you're handling a pound and a half of spicy peppers, because it will get into your skin, and anytime you touch mucous membranes, you're gonna be crying. And you can use red jalapenos or Fresno. Traditionally, it's with red jalapenos. So once I just do a little cut on the top, pull off the top and it gets most of the seeds out, split it, tear out the ribs and the seeds. And obviously, if you like spicy stuff, you leave the seeds in, you leave the ribs in, but once the ribs and seeds are all removed or as much as you want removed, you just roughly chop your peppers and transfer them all into the blender. Now that the peppers are safely in the blender, we can take off the gloves. Sriracha traditionally is fermented, but by using some fish sauce, you can cheat and add the umami that way. And I added some garlic cloves, and in place of any sugar, because every good condiment has a nice balance of spicy, savory, and sweet, I add a pitted and chopped up medjool date. And that makes it Whole30 friendly too. And I'm gonna add some salt, and for extra umami, I'm gonna add some tomato paste. Don't forget to add the apple cider vinegar because this gives it the tang and mellows out the spiciness. And then you're just gonna blitz this. So you want it totally pureed. And it should be totally smooth and it should look like this. You can give it a taste here, but this is spicier and much sharper than your final product because you're gonna be cooking it. Ooh, spicy! So if you want to skip this part, you totally can. So then you grab your puree and you dump it in a small saucepan. I heat it up to high and I bring it to a simmer. So now that I see it boiling on the edges, I'm gonna turn it down to maintain the simmer. You let it simmer for five to 10 minutes until it becomes a nice bright red and the flavors are exactly how you want it. I think that's probably good. And once your sauce is done, you can transfer it to a measuring cup where you can let it cool to room temperature. When your sauce is cooled, you can put it in a squeeze bottle. Just grab a funnel and pour it in. And once it's in your squeeze bottle, you'll have your own homemade bottle of Whole30 Sriracha. It's got no sweeteners in it, but it's still umami packed and super spicy and delicious. You'll have your own bottle of spicy Asian ketchup.